So yes, January is about to end, and man, has it fly by so far, but now it is time to do the monthly preview again. We are now about to hit February movies, and it's time to kick off with February 3rd, in which releasing that day, we have Chronicle. Let me get the gum. Pull it right out of his mouth. I got this one. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> She's just looking at it. I feel like I'm more intrigued than excited about this film. I mean, the trailer is pretty interesting, but the found footage style is very overdone. But when you have these kinds of kids that just get these kinds of superpowers and you don't really know what kind of direction they're going to go with them, but of course you know how one of them is going to go in the trailer, I find it to be pretty interesting at the same time, though. Dude! Holy crap! That's why I think we're getting stronger, you know? It's, she thinks it's stolen. She has no she idea. Stolen. Yes, it was the black guy this time. <laughs> the acting will be something that will have to really carry this movie forward, but from the way the trailer looks, I really don't find any problems with it. This could be a really good, fun time to really kill some time with some friends, and it looks like it's got a lot of uh, over-the-top stuff going in, especially with the special effects, but even for a low-budget movie, that's pretty high right there. <laughs> What is that? Alright, dude, we're going inside. Steve, wait up! Matt, look at this! Holy... Next up on February 10th, first up, we have Journey to the Mysterious Island. Here. That's the deadliest part of the ocean. There is no island there. Ooh, baby, easy peasy. Let's go. <laughs> oh! That's my security system. I'd rather take the Titanic. I seriously thought there was a time when Dwayne Johnson was done doing these movies. I mean, when you do Faster and Fast Five, you really expect him to really step it up with the next big action movie that he's got in his set list. But now he's going back to kids' movies. Come on, man. I thought you were done with those. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you The Mysterious Island. This is heaven. I'm checking in. This is amazing. Well, don't just stand there, Grandpa! <laughs> Who's up for an adventure? The special effects look decent in the trailer, but they remind me so much of a bunch of other blockbusters from the past few years. And when you have visual effects and set designs that look very similar to other films in the past, then that's already a bad sign that there isn't a ton of creativity behind the project then. Also released on February 10th, we have the action thriller Safe House. Oh my god. That's Tobin Frost. Kill all the surveillance cameras in this room. Is this legal? Denzel Washington is one of my top five favorite actors of all time, but ever since his performance in American Gangster, we haven't really seen a whole lot from him since then. Other than the Book of Eli and now this, I can't really think of much more that he's really done with his career in the past few years. They're here for me, but they want me alive. You don't kill. Times are wasting. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Hey, hey! Get in. You serious? Yeah. Get in the truck! However, I do think the action looks pretty good, and I will see this because Denzel looks like he's having a blast with the role. But what's really going to hold me back from probably liking this movie is the fact that it has a ton of things in it that I've seen in past movies. But I will admit that the style of all the bright colors around the South African landscape do look pretty cool, though. <laughs> I want you to take me in. It used to be releasing on February 17th, but now it's releasing on Valentine's Day. It's the action comedy, This Means War. Computer, yeah, photograph my girl. I was doing the same thing. You wanna see her? You're on three. One, two, three, two. Lauren Scott. I like the cast behind this movie, but the comedy just looks very forced at times, and it's stuff that we've seen done better in a ton of other comedies in the past few years. I do think that Chris Pine and Tom Hardy have really good chemistry with each other just alone from the trailer. But Reese Witherspoon, I kind of think that she's a little miscast in this role because I haven't really seen her in these types of roles in a while, and I just don't think that she really fits the role that well. This is a live operation. It's a full wrap and tap, boys. I want you to follow Agent Hansen. Don't let your country down, boys. This has been a perfect night. 
make it rain. Also, I'm not the biggest fan at all of director McGee. I don't really like many of his movies at all, and I think that Terminator Salvation was without a doubt the worst in the franchise. Haven't seen probably any other movies except bits and pieces of the Charlie's Angel movies and stuff. Just I just don't know because the guy does have a very mixed bag of a direction, and he could be the reason why this movie takes a sidestep, but I will be seeing this alone for Tom Hardy, Chris Pine, and Reese Witherspoon, though. Released on February 17th, we have Ghost Rider The Spirit of Vengeance. He'll take on a new form. One more powerful than he's ever known. I probably saw 10 minutes of the 2007 Ghost Rider movie and I just left the room after that and went on with whatever else I was doing at the time and uh, I just don't know about this. I mean, sure the effects look decent and it has Nicolas Cage who I've always stuck up for despite all the crap that he's done the past few years. But the only thing that really holds together for me to see this movie is that Neville Dean Taylor duo is directing it though. While I can say that I'm not one of the people that's really looking forward to this movie at all, unlike other, the other people that I do know that are really anticipating it, I'll see it all alone for Nicolas Cage and the Neville Dean Taylor duo, though. I'm not afraid of you. And the last one I'm going to talk about, released on February 24th, we have the action movie Act of Valor. Three days ago, two CIA agents were ambushed inside their hotel room. Before she was captured, Morales was working up a jihadist cell. It could be why she was abducted. This is a personnel recovery. Proceed to target, recover the package, and move to extract. I've heard some decent reviews come out from early screenings of this movie, and I kind of like how they're putting in real Navy SEALs at the actors, yet at the same time, that's a bit of a sidestep for the movie's overall realistic aesthetic, because at the same time, while they are channeling their own profession, they're trying to act at the same time, and I think that the acting could be the biggest misstep of this movie, because you don't really know how much you're really putting the hands of these guys committing the whole movie through on their acting. At the same time, though, I have to admit, the action does look incredible for this. How can you stop this? From the way it looks, it's going to be one of those movies where you just shut your brain off and enjoy all the big entertainment that you get out of it. However, I do like the very interesting presentation that the directors have handed it, especially with the way they shoot it, to make it look like one of those training missions uh, that you see on YouTube and all that stuff of like these actual guys going into combat like before they actually go in combat, like in training mode and everything. That's what I'm really digging about the trailer alone, so I am looking forward to it to say the most, but I'm really going to hold my thoughts in on the acting until I actually see it, though. There's a brotherhood between us. And I don't see you. If you're not willing to give up everything, oh, you are now. you've already lost. Never again. But in the meantime, those are the ones that I really wanted to talk about, and uh, I'll be reviewing Chronicle this Friday because my college is throwing a midnight screening of that. So in the meantime, Tower from Cali Crook Reviews, leave your thoughts below on this February's movies, and also ask me about other ones I didn't talk about, and I'll see you guys later.